I want us to pray. Let us pray. Our Lord and our Father, we are grateful. We are so thankful for what you have done for us, to us, through us. Thank you for keeping us alive. Thank you for the hope we have in you. Thank you for not allowing us to be hopeless, to be helpless. Thank you for the gift of your spirit that has always been with us. Thank you for the gift of friends. Thank you for gift of gift of relations. Thank you for gift of helps people around us that you've purposely positioned around us to be of help to us. We are not taking all those lightly. Thank you for our staff in our offices, in our establishments, people that work hard to make sure that our establishment is going on well. Lord, we are grateful for all of them. We thank you. We thank you for another bright week, another great week you have made. And our prayer this week is that you will keep us. You will help us. You will preserve us. You will bless us and bless, bless the works of our hands. You will keep us from all evil. You will shield us from evil men and women. Wickedness exists. People are wicked. People are wicked. Deliver us from wicked people. Deliver us from wicked men and women. Anybody that is around our lives and that person is a spy. That person is a spy unto us. Giving information about us to our enemies. Lord, expose and expunge them out of our lives. Give us the grace to push them out. Give us the grace to cut the time. Give us the grace to say, I know do again. Give us the grace to not pick their calls. Give us the grace when they bash in on us, we will not open our doors to them. Lord, make us to say no without feeling guilty. Lord, help us because all these things boil down on our mental health and the way we live our lives. Give us the grace to, to renew our strength, to renew our lives, to begin to live optimally, to the glory and the praise of your name in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you so, so very much. I sincerely thank you for joining. My name is Moli Safeva from Achuku, and uh, I am not a medical doctor. I have a PhD in guidance and counseling with psychology from the University of Lagos 12 years ago. And in 2017, the Lord called me to this wonderful ministry, Minister of Health and Wellness. And in 2018, he gave us on Kufu Challenge, which we do regularly. We do it every other month. And those of us that are in the in the ministry, we do it almost all the time because that's a way of life. And then in 2019, precisely on the 22nd day of September, the Lord told me to begin this program, Great Life with Dr. Foma. You see, great life exists. It is us, us now, you and myself, that don't know that we, we should live a great life and we should live life on our own terms, not on other people's terms. We, we, we fumble, we, we cry, we, because I was there. You know, anything by God's grace, anything I tell us is something I've experienced. If I have not experienced it, I know somebody, because as a counselor, somebody must have told me about it, or I know somebody that experienced it. So it's a pleasure having you on the call tonight. You made the greatest choice, the best choice of your life being here because something you will hear tonight will ignite you to something that will propel you to greatness that you'll be yearning for. So I sincerely welcome you. If today is your first time of joining us, you can indicate by typing a two on the chat. But if you can hear me clearly and you can see me, please can you indicate by typing a one on the chat. Thank you. Okay, I can be here. Thank you so, so very much. 
Um, so many things happened this week that ended yesterday. So many things happened. One among them is that um, one of our sisters here, one of our sisters, one of our sisters here, huh? and Sister Emma Mbog, on Wednesday, she she just said, uh, Wednesday, motivation, something, something. She 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 brought me out to the limelight. You know, when I saw that thing, I just kept quiet. Before I could reply, I, I kept quiet. And I was just thinking, I said, so this thing is working. You see, eh, we have pains, we have injury. We don't, we, we bring diseases upon us because we want to be somebody else. The moment you, you align with God's purpose for your life and you are you in your space, you will see that God will begin to bring people to you. God will begin to bring people from, I have not seen her. I have not seen her as I have seen who, who is on the corner. I've seen Jane Obasi, I've seen uh, Irene Ifejika, I've seen my sister now, I've seen, I've not seen Dr. Mba, I've seen Ebel Izike, I've seen Dr. Chingwe, I've seen Jideka, I've seen Afoma Manike. But you see this in my book, I've not seen her. I've not met her. But you see, when you do things with a good heart, you do right things and you do things right, you will begin to attract your likes. So when I, after reading that thing, she, she wrote, Chai, I say, see me, oh, this small thing that I was just doing, you know, I was doing it casually, casually, casually. But you see, at a point, I was reading her post. And one day I brought her to this program and she shared with us, we have tried to meet one another, uh, each other, but it will happen before this year. What I told myself, if mountain doesn't go to Mohammed, Mohammed must go to mountain. We must meet before the year runs out. So I sincerely thank you, sis, for that. You know, it gladdens, it gladdens my heart to know that women can genuinely and sincerely appreciate women. You don't play tackle on your fellow woman, even if that person is a man. Mm -mm. You don't do that. And sincerely appreciate people. Anybody that knows me, I don't, um, what, how, how do they do that? Um, I don't, who will give me that word? It, that's fake something, telling something, that, something that is not. I don't do that because it's not in my nature. It's not in my character. And if I tell you this thing happened, I sincerely meant it. I sincerely meant it. So I want to sincerely appreciate you. You may not know what you did. You may think you just wrote that thing, I service um, uh, people that, um, there's an, a word, flatter. I don't flatter people, that's the word. I don't flatter people. If I tell you this cloth is fine on you, sincerely it's fine. If it's not fine, I won't talk. Because I may tell you it's not fine. You pick offense. Before I will tell you it's not fine. But when I began to study human beings very well, I knew that there are things people don't take. So I won't give it to them. But I will never flatter you. Instead of me to flatter you, I keep quiet. You may wear something I don't like. Instead of me to say, ah, this thing you are wearing is fine. I'll rather keep quiet. So I sincerely thank you, sis, for that one that you, you, you thought you did it only for me, but you did it to a whole, a, you liberated a whole, many women. That, you see that thing you wrote, you liberated a whole lot of women because they will, will let us know that we can exist together. We can coexist. We can, we can triumph. We can win together. We can be ourselves together without anybody trying to pull anybody down. We don't have PhDs. Pull him or her down. We shouldn't be doing that. That's not one of the marks of the winner, the total winner. So I want to sincerely thank, thank you for that. And I appreciate all the people in our ministry, Healthy Rest Ministry International in our group. A woman also sent a voice note that made me so happy. 
Some people, she told me now, I, 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 I was, I, I didn't have bearing. Now I can, I have my bearing. I can say no without feeling any guilty. Saying no does not mean you hate that person, but it wasn't convenient for you at that time. Somebody called me this evening. And I was, that was when I was putting out this post. You know, I was, I, I did a little uh, write-up before I posted. Normally I would just post the, the Zoom ID and the picture. So at a point, the Lord laid it in my heart. You can put a little thing there. So when I was doing that, the lady was calling me. Did I pick the call? No way. I didn't pick it. Did I feel guilty? No. And immediately I finished that. I sent that thing out. And because she's on my, the woman that called me, because she's on my broadcast list, she got it. She said, I just called you. Didn't pick. I said, it wasn't convenient. So, sometimes if something is not convenient for you, voice it out. It's not a crime. You have not committed any sin. I told her because at that point I was meditating how to do this presentation, what clothes to wear, how to pack my hair. Do I tie a tie? What do I do? I was receiving all those, receiving all those. So if I became, because she may try to talk to me and take me off that course entirely and I will lose track. So please, all of you that made me so happy, by the feedback you gave, Mrs. Ezenwa is always there. She will tell you, I'm a bold person from the beginning, but my boldness increased. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I am grateful for you being here. I'm not taking it lightly. And I say, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Tonight, we are continuing. We, we are studying. If you are joining us for the first time, we are studying a book called The Psychology of winning the psychology there is psychology of winning people that are winners they have psychology psychology is the scientific study of human behavior there is there is a way or ways they behaved that's why they are succeeding so that's what we are looking at and there are 10 qualities of the total winner we have dealt with the first one Positive self-awareness. If you don't know who you are, eh? people may use you as dustbin. People may use you as packer. People may use you as broom. People may use you as doormat. But if you know you who you are, like Sister Emma Imbo, she's you saw what she said, that she can talk now. In Niger, six figures. Excuse me. You are not paying for her face. You are paying for what is in her head. I tell women, gone are the days where you think power is in your bum bum. Power has shifted to upstairs. It's what you have upstairs that will take you to places. Everybody has vagina if you're a woman. Everybody has a barakota if you're a man. But what differentiates you from the other person is what is in your head. That's why I tell people, develop yourself. Make sure that every day by day you learn something new. Don't lock yourself up. This is a, an era of learning, unlearning, and relearning. I don't know whether you are following me in today's conversation. If you are following me, please, can you please indicate by typing a 333 three, three on this chat? There are other things that made my heart so glad. And I want to encourage somebody. How many of you knew about David and Chioma? You know those young children. And remember, it was last year. After You know, all these things, they border on our lives, whether you want to believe it or not. Last year, their son, Ifani, Adeleke, turned three. Last October. All of a sudden, I think on the 31st of October, bam, they said that the, the boy was drowned. And people began to talk. Some people say um, David, David do use him to, to, to sacrifice to Illuminati. These people say this. These people say this. These people say, you know, the day I had that in my heart sank. You know, I want you to understand something. Anytime something happens to anybody, eh, what you will do, just exchange the position of that person. Just use yourself, put yourself in, in, in what we call it empathy in guidance and counseling, not sympathy. 
sympathy, you are aloof, you are sympathizing, but empathy, you just imagine it is you. So I just imagine it is me or my children. I could, all my children are even, Choma is 27. My last child is 29. So Choma could pass for, for my child. So that thing pained me. Eh? I prayed. I said, Father in heaven, I know you can give these people double for their trouble. Oh God, you can give them twins. I prayed it on my own. Some people prayed it and prayed it outside. Now they are clapping for them that they prophesied. But you see, you know, you see why, you know why I'm bringing this? I'm bringing this to encourage you. You are on this call this night and something has not gone right or some things have gone wrong. I want to encourage you that as far as there is day and night, as far as there is somebody that controls this universe, God will give you double for that trouble. You see how God, how God helped these young ones. That's why I tell people, don't judge people. You may think you want to judge. You don't even know the relationship that person has with God. You see how God just, why, why, did God not give them a boy and um, two boys or two girls? Why a boy and a girl? To show you that, you see, God will do something in your life that your mockers will be put to shame in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you. You may have cried over something. It may be a child. It may be a, 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 a health condition. It may be your daughter or your son not doing the right thing. I pray for you tonight that the God of heaven will meet you and surpass your expectation concerning that issue in the name of Jesus. Yes. Now, let's go to our, well, let's go back to the psychology of winning. We are, the first one is positive self-awareness. Second one, positive self-esteem. Third one, positive self-control. The fourth one, positive self-motivation. You see in motivation, everybody is motivated. Either you are motivated small or you are motivated um, a, a, a lot, but you are motivated. You saw somebody that poured hot oil on the husband. It was motivation. She was negatively motivated. I didn't even know what the husband did. I don't know how many of you saw it. In my book, even wrote it. I've even did something before I said, let me go and catch up. You know what? Anybody that influences you, anybody that in just on, on your own, go to their pages and check. So I've already done something. When I saw in my book, posted the picture of the man. And they, because the one I posted was where the, I think, security agency, they came to take the wife. The wife was holding the, the husband's leg, seated, and she was begging. I want to tell you, you looking at me, if somebody could, should, should do that to your son, will you be happy? Will you be happy? I remember years back when my son went to get one girl and said, it's the girl she wants to marry. You know what I told the girl? I told her, please, if eventually, it if it works out, eh? Any day you are tired, you see the way you walked into this, my house with this boy, walk out, out of his life. Don't kill my son for me. Don't maim him. Don't use chuku, chuku on him. Don't hit him. Don't stab him. Have you not seen how many women, they have killed their husbands? You know, what? if you follow what we are telling us, nothing will make you feel so low. That you begin to, because maybe I'm not giving, I'm not making, uh, I'm not making a place for men now to begin to cheat or do certain things. But eh, you see, I got married at age 17. But you know what I told myself? As early as young as I was, I won't struggle over my husband and girls. You know what? Why I told myself? I said, I looked at myself in the mirror. I said, I'm so beautiful. I'm so beautiful. That this man, having looked at all the girls around, he chose me. I am the queen. And therefore, I have no, no nothing to struggle over these people that were rejected. And that formed my, I, it entered inside my brain. Coupled with what my dad told me, you are so beautiful. You are the most, the most beautiful girl on earth. 
So you see, you have to self-talk. It's part of it. It's part of it. How can a woman, or boiling oil, it's not that, you know, oil is more powerful than hot water. Hmm? The oil bulb, I don't know, I think the man was sleeping, I'd be waiting, just pour. If did you pour that oil for him, for him to be alive or for him to be dead? Now, people are saying, hey, let him forgive her. <laughs> and I, I, I won't tell you what, I have told you what I, I told the girl. They, they, don't kill my son. Don't maim him. Don't destroy him. Don't disfigure him. Don't deform him. Waka, go. Please. Somehow, that marriage did not work. Did I cause it? No. Now, another thing I want to tell us is that I also saw a post in my maid. He said, a woman was saying that four of the children belongs to the pastor. Only one belongs to the husband. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, DNA. You see, if I'm a man, I will go for DNA for all my children. Especially if I don't trust the woman. But let me ask you, excuse me. How can you marry somebody you don't trust? Four children belong to pastor. What will pastor tell you that will make you, that doc, pastor will be having children? Pastor will be having children for your husband. And you are giving, and another, your husband is taking care of somebody else's children. I don't know whether to call it wickedness or I don't know. It's motivation because something motivated her. Motivation can be negative or positive. Something motivated her. I shared a story. I, I, I made a reply in that, in, in that chat, in that, com I commented that I know a woman. This woman told me that they, 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 all of us, we are worshiping in one church, CPM, Ajawa State. All of us, then, then people began to leave. So herself and the husband left CPM to a church. And they began, the, the, the husband bought, I don't know whether the man bought the land, but I know the generator. She said for 10 years, the husband was fueling the generator. The, any gen that breaks down, he buys new one. Excuse me. And they were fine. If the husband buys maybe Prado Jeep, because they use brand new cars, the, hus the pastor will tell the husband to buy Prado Jeep for, for him. That's brand, that edition. So this thing continued and they were going until one day, the pastor called her into the office and said, um, so many things, I've, I've been comfortable with so many things, but one, one thing, the woman said she thought maybe it, it, she did something, or they told her, or the husband came to tell the pastor she did something. Do you know what the pastor told her? That she wants to sleep with her, that that's the only thing that is remaining. You see, many of you will think what I'm telling you is not true. <laughs> Why? Anything I tell you that is true. This woman told me by herself, not that I read it. Because I, I needed the story very well. I didn't say, hey. I just said, eh? are you serious? She said, yes. So this man started trying by all means. She said, never. You know, some people are so brainwashed that they begin to do like mumu. You know, when I, if you're a pastor here, forgive me. I love you if you are a good one. Mm? But you see, one of the deliverances God will give you is from prophets and pastors. Not only women, not only men, even women. A friend told me about a woman prophetess that cornered somebody's husband. So they that the man carry credit card, they live in US and gave the children of the prophetess and they were they, they they will go to shop and be doing anyhow anyhow until bills began to come. So you see, shine your eyes. My own dear sister, the same mother, the same father, the same mother. I'm not telling you now, the same father. It is prophecy that destroyed her home. After how many years of marriage? 32 years of marriage. The husband went in search of power. He went to see tomorrow. He wants to see tomorrow. By the time you know it, I told my sister, 
when I met those girls, I said to her, one day, this, these girls, young girls, dating girls, I said, one day, these girls will become Holy Spirit to your husband. And when they tell your husband not to give you money for food, your husband will not give you. Did it happen? It didn't take up to three months. It started happening. Our problem is that we want to see, want to see. What are you seeing? That person that is doing, doing prophecy for you, look at that person's life. You see me now. If I want to give you prophecy, you listen to me. Because I have passed through stuff and I have overcome. So I can give you prophecy. Not somebody that you know you are better off than. Somebody that will come, when you come around that person, that person smells. Somebody that doesn't even wear good clothes. Somebody that doesn't even go to school. You subject yourself because the person carry by big Bible. If you want, go to Wonderland, buy big Bible. If they don't have it, <laughs> if they don't have it, go to, go to Amazon. Order it. Don't allow people to deceive you. Many of us, especially women, we are being deceived. If you are getting value from what we are, what I've shared with us, type four, four, four. Uh -huh. Let us finish. We will finish this um, this um, positive self motivation. We, are, we will finish it today. Last week we said that there are two key emotions in motivation. Two key emotions: fear and desire. Fear looks at the past. Desire looks at the future. You know, some people, they don't live in today. They don't live today. They live in their past and in their future. And that's why they are afraid. They have failed in their past. So they are afraid of failing in their future. They don't even want to enjoy today, today, today. You see me? I'm enjoying today. You saw that me. Many of you that saw me riding bike, that bicycle, that bicycle is foldable. I folded it, put it inside my car, brought it it's in my house now. Because when I travel, my daughter rides bicycle in berlin many of them they, they ride bicycle because they have bicycle lane so she will she will fold it i say hey, i've not seen this foldable bicycle so when this guy just told me hey mommy come there's one bicycle i saw and he, he, he so it's okay i said how much he told me i said okay i will buy he said put something down i said let me even test it i tested it that day you see before he began to take that video I've done, done that route twice. He said, hey, 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 mommy, stop, stop, stop. Give me your phone. Let me video you. You don't know what that video did in the life of people. Many people that ordinarily, they will be somewhere back at that, pressing remote control, remote control. Somebody told me, move, move, move your body, move your... She said, anytime she sits for a long time, she will remember... Dr. Favor will say, move your body, move your body. Aging starts from the legs. She will just get up. She will walk around, walk around and come and sit down. That's motivation. So that is what we are doing here. So if you are joining us, this is Great Life with Dr. Afoma. And it airs every Sunday evening, 8 p.m. Nigerian time. This is where we talk about our health, mental, financial, physical, psychological, emotional, I want to tell you, many people are going through mental stress. If the Lord lays it in your heart to give somebody 5,000, don't say it's small. Don't say it's small. I have been without money. You see money. And one of the things you do to yourself, anybody that you call your friend, be open and honest with that person. Be open and honest with that person. I visited somebody yesterday. As I was about going, I wanted to drop her off somewhere. She said, no, she can take a care and go. And me, you know, I drive a brand new car. I said, hmm, this woman doesn't even know. I want to pray. honor her because I know where she was going to. At a point, I, I refused. I was just pressing food, waiting for her. She went and had her bed, came out. You know what she told me, sis? <laughs> See me, that's saying I can take a case. It's 200 naira that's in my hands, in my hand. Though. Before I went there, the Lord already told me to give her 5,000. I'm, I'm not telling you long story. I'm telling you the truth. But if she did not open up, because I've already forgotten, it was when she said it, you just say, yeah, 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 yeah. If she did not open her mouth to say, sis, it's not everybody you open your nash to, but there are people 
that you have, you have to be vulnerable before and you will not be ashamed. And you ask God for such people. Ask God to give you such people. People that will not make fun of you. People that will not laugh at you. People that will not mock you. People that will not make jest of you. You need such people. I tell you, times are hard. Times are hard. When she said it, when we, I, I gave her money, I, I went, I, I gave her other ones, and she was so happy. You know what I did? I dropped her there. The moment I, because they saw beautiful car coming now, the moment she wanted me to go and turn somewhere, I said, don't worry, I will turn here. I purposely turned in front of the church. So they saw her come down from the car. And one of the ushers came to Russia. She just told me, they have seen me, they have seen me. She didn't know I wanted to bring honor to her. You know, I tell you, if you don't know how to honor people, learn it. You see, familiarity, over familiarity, we, we, it's not about that person, but it's about the God, that person. You see, anything, any, any, any grace you don't honor, you won't get anything out of it. I'm telling you the truth. I purposely did what I did. I drove away when I didn't have a car. People will tell me, I will tell, people will tell me, I don't want to call names to um, escort them to somewhere. They will tell me to stand on Ikeja along. If you know Lagos State, if you know Lagos State, on the way to Apiokuta Express Road, Ikeja along. Hmm? This woman will tell me to stand there, that she's coming. I will be there. I will call her. She will tell me she's coming. She has not taken her bed. But me, if anybody wants to take me to anywhere, you know what I tell the person? Just get ready by 10. I will be there. And I will go and pick that person from the house. And I will drop that person. People don't know how to honor people. Many people are mentally sick today because people that should be in their spaces did not do what they are supposed to do. And that was why they felt devastated. You see in life, your, what you have before you is far, far, better, bigger, greater than what is behind you. I tell you the truth. I'm not telling you that. Yet. I tell you the truth. You see me? The areas that I'm yet to conquer, the ones I've conquered, <laughs> hey, when people say, ah, Doki, you said this, you say, hey, I say this thing, the sweet my body, they never see, they never see anything. There are experiences that I'm gathering now. There are experiences I'm gathering now that I will use tomorrow. But I don't want to live in tomorrow. I want to enjoy my today. Now, let's continue. We stopped at winners focus on concepts of solution rather than concepts of problems. Anytime you have an issue and you bury yourself in that issue, you are a loser. Loser, capital loser. You see issue, issues must come. It's not about what happens to you. It's about your reaction, your response, how you navigated that thing that happened. Some people will look at you and say, this woman is heartless. This woman is a wicked woman. You know, once you learn how to live your life outside the validation of people, then you have got your life 80%. You have to live your life. I'm not saying be careless. Because somebody that, you know, this woman, I dress her in her wedding, on her wedding day. But she became too, too familiar with me and said something to me. And that was because I warned her. She was doing that to the husband. I told her, this thing you are, in short, let me tell you what she was doing to the husband. She will abuse the husband and abuse the husband that the husband will run away from home. So one day I was on my way going to the east. I flew Epis to Asaba. And I didn't know there was a tanker that, you know, only that bridge now, there were some giri -giri around that area. And the guy that was supposed to come and pick me with my sister's car kept telling me, Auntie, I'm coming, I'm coming. This guy did not tell. I was there. Our flight arrived 5.15. I was there at 6 o'clock, 6.30. I said, what's happening? Excuse me. I had two options. To go to a hotel and sleep. 
excuse me. Or, so I said, let me call that woman. I've not seen her. She lives in Asaba. I entered her house. The first thing she told me, they didn't have light to. And you know, I don't like my phones being off because my phone is my ministry. My phone is my business. My phone is my social, social relations, relationships. So when she said that, I said, why? She said they cut their light for, for two months. I said, because of what? How much? She said 25,000. I said, okay. The second one, she told me there's no food in this house. So that the stupid husband has gone off. So that thing wounded me. You know, a good man, if you have a husband, I tell you, honor that man. But you see, if that husband is horse banding you, you know horse now, whipping you with horse, that's when I tell, I tell you, shine your eye. So she said there was no food in the house. I brought money. She gave her house help. So she went and bought things we ate. We slept with generator up to some time. My phone were charged and she put the, uh, the generator off. When we woke up, I was praying 7 p.m. prayer. Many of you, 7 a.m. prayer. She came to pray and, with me. I asked her, uh, what happened to your phone now? Huh? Because the way I may say amen, it's raining too much in Enugu. Oh, the way she was saying amen may not be the way I may say amen. I may do it well. So because she was, she, you know what she told me? Pay attention. She said that she sold her seed. She sold her phone. Her phone. She sold it as a seed to one man of God because she believes in prophets. I kept quiet. So after praying that prayer, I said, let's start from somewhere. How much do you say about the light? She said 25,000. I, I had money in my purse. I counted 25,000. I gave her. I put 1,000 to the son. I said, use it to do KK so that they can come and fix, uh, reconnect the light. She thanked me. Then after that day, I be the next day. Okay, later that day, I told her, can we get where we can buy food? She said, yes, it was a shop right. Keneko, Keneko. I chattered Keke, all of us enter Keke. Somebody that came to just sleep, we went to shop right. I bought food, uh, Android food. I think I bought that food, then 65,000. We came back. I still gave her money. The next day I left because the roads were clear. This woman was living in a, 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 a flat. So the husband did not know I was there. And the husband just came. She said, stupid man, see, see him. Do you know that uh, 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 Ma CJ, that's me, uh, came. This, uh, that, I, I, short, I almost died that day. You know, die. Hey, my, I was, I, I, I was short. I almost died. All of a sudden, I saw the first son talking to the father, calling the man idiot. Jesus, my my head, eh? My head blew up like this. So I said, "Excuse me." I told I told the woman who is talking with your husband. He said, "Is the son?" I said, "And your son called your husband idiot." He said, "Yes, now he's an idiot. He doesn't Jesus Christ of Nazareth of Jehovah." He. So when the husband later left, hmm, I sat her down. I said, "Look." You are the one that you this woman is a GO. You know, GO. She owns a church. I'm not telling you she's a church member. I sat her and I said, look, see, 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 see. There is a blessing that comes when children honor their father. He said, eh, eh, he will borrow money from them. He will not pay. I said, he, he does not guarantee those. After talking to her, telling her what to do, you know what? The next thing she did. She duplicated that thing on my own life because she told me they wanted to pack out. I told her, you can't pack out where you are owing the landlord. It's not right. You can't pack out. You have to pay. She said instead of her to pay, she will use it to go somewhere. And I said then, you are not a good person to follow. I was, you know, I was trying to make this one because I've known her. 
In short, the moment she got married, the husband brought her to my house. De, 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 de. She wanted to use that to manipulate me because the moment I drew the line, um, because you know what she said to me? When she told me eh, that I said they should move out, that she went to look for house. I asked her, the house you got, how much money is it? She said 450,000. I said, how much are you paying where you are presently? She said 280. I said difference of 170. Even if I decide now to pay for that one four seven four 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 fifty, who, what of the rent you are owing the landlord, and who pays again? If you can't with your husband pay two eighty, do you think you can pay four fifty? Because you know why she wanted to move her from that vicinity. She felt her people, you know, GOs, they are moving to up New Obanam. If you know Asaba. You know, she wanted, if you live your life on comparison, you can never be happy and you can never be well. So when she said that, I told her, okay, I've already given her money. At a point, I calculated what I gave her, both food, both nepa, both food, both food. It was, my sister was asking me, in these two days now you spent, I said, see me, oh, if I've gone to a hotel to sleep, I won't spend one or three of that money. But because of all the things I told her she was doing to her husband that was not good, she, she brought it on my head. And did I take it? Never. I severed that relationship. You know what she told me? Uh, that you please leave it now. Shebi, we have known for 30 something years. That's what I tell you. Anybody that's in your space and that person is not adding value to you and you try to drag that person and you find out that that person is drawing you back, throw that person away. I threw this woman away. She was shocked. So you see, the mind cannot concentrate on the reverse of an idea. Winners know that their actions will be controlled by their current ovations. When one concentrates on doing one thing extremely well, it will take seed and grow and multiply into diversified opportunities. Winners see risk as opportunity. They see the rewards of success in advance. They see the reward of success in advance. They do not fear the penalties of failure. Instead of you not to fail, instead of you not to do anything, do it and fail. John Maxwell has a book, Failing Forward. You can fail forward. You see me, I can... When I wanted to study for my master's and my PhD, some people told me, let your children get it for you. But today, where I stand to talk, where I stand, the people I stand with, they can't come near. Because of what? I saw risk as opportunity. I did not have any money to go to school. Many of you are looking for opportunity. Many of you are looking, uh, not many of you, many of us, let me include myself. Many of us are looking for perfect time. There is no perfect time. You create the perfect time. That's why I love a particular sister, Kate, who make it. She will be engaging in her post, engaging in her post, engaging in her post. Many people are seeing it. You may do a post. You may get two likes, three comments. 100 people read that post. That's why you don't put anything, any trash on your page. Some people that, that they will want to do gri -gri for me before. I've weeded them, them out. They don't come near my page again. Because I told them, my page is my pulpit. I don't have any pulpit anywhere. Is that my page? There is no perfect time. The powers of fear are, unfor are unfortunate for individuals so dominated cannot act with volition or positive in intent. Rather, they go through life. Pay attention. These people, they go through life doing what? Reacting, defensive, and incapacitated. Anytime you are reactive. Sit down and ask yourself question. Something is not right or okay with you. Or you be defensive and incapacitated. People who are dominated by stress are unable to change the world they live in. You see stress. You can pay for stress. Some of us don't know how to pay for stress. Let me tell you how to pay for stress. When I was... Way you were younger, my children were small, they were in primary school. A woman that I look up to as a role model, 
came to my house. You know, I bake very well. That woman was trained by Germans on bakery. So the woman came to my house and saw a big bowl of big bowl of clothes soaked. And I was sweeping, sweating. My children had gone to school. You see, all these people that stay at home, stay at home moms, you think they are not doing anything. They say, lie you. That's what that is full-time job. It's only men that have sense that know that they should be paying their wives salary. So when she saw me doing that, excuse me, she asked me, who will wash these clothes? I said, it's me. Because at that point, there was no house help. I said, it's me. She said, when you finish all these things, you wash these clothes. I said, yes, ma'am. Hmm. She said, come. I came close. You know what she told me? Use your money to pay for stress. I asked her how. She said, that Coke you will drink, that malt you will drink, that meat pie you will eat. Hmm? Keep the money and get a washerman. I have a Togolese that wash for me. I can introduce you. I can introduce him to you. That was how he introduced the Togolese uh, washerman. The man will wash for them maybe Wednesday, iron Friday. He will come to me Thursday. Come and iron. I began to do that. The man living with me then, my husband, thought I was doing big woman. But the woman told me, because I'm telling you, when you are getting to 50 something, it will begin to tell on your health. It will begin to tell on your waist. Now they are telling you, good wife, good wife, you are strong. 50, that 50, has it not come upon me? I turned 52, 57. That's why you see me doing a whole lot of things other people in my age, they can't do because I paid attention. She told me, use money to pay for this dress. If you have money, go and buy wash, washing machine. Some people will say, no, no, if you don't want to go and give your clothes out. And you see me, I can wash for Africa, but to iron, Nadia, my, my, my wahala be. So, like this clothes now, I just remove it from the nylon where the washerman put it. I don't send anybody. I don't send anybody. I don't send anybody. Now, let's go ahead. It is a strange and sovereign axiom that the thing we fear, we ourselves bring to pass. The thing we fear, we ourselves bring to pass. James Allen, the English essayist wrote, they who have conquered doubt and fears have conquered failure. Have you conquered doubts and, and fears? They have conquered failure. Their every thought is aligned with power and all difficulties are barely, barely met and wisely overcome. You see, it, it, I was listening to, you see, I have so many things. You see this thing now, it's radio, transitor radio. At times when I want to listen to radio, uh, ordinary Radio now, you know, no, a frequency. I'll put it. So I was listening to sharing life issues with Atlanta. So a, a man called him and said he has a problem. That the problem he has is that he can't make decision. He can't decide to buy phone and go and buy it. He will be dilly-dally. So you know what? Because Atlanta is a psychologist. You know what she asked her? Can you give me a peep into your childhood? The man said that he left home as that at a very young age and he lived with the aunt. He lived with the aunt and that aunt was so strict that everything in the house, he, he takes this, this, he, she takes the decision. Now it, have, it has affected this man. So every time he is looking for somebody that will make a decision for him. You know, I have people like that around me. They, will, they may want to buy a piece of land that piece of land is 1, 000, 1 million, no, 500,000 per plot. They will be walking around. Tomorrow, they will go and check. It has gone to 1 million. They will still be walking around. They all, then next year, the they, they 500 plot, one plot has gone to 2 million. They are walking. Except you catch them and say, go and buy this land. That's when they buy it. So you see, when people behave around you, eh, shook eye into their childhood into their background you will see why they behave the way they behave you see why i'm a very straight a very strong person and a very courageous person it was from my background 
So if you don't have the kind of background I had, you may not have what I have, but don't beat yourself to uh, beat yourself to death. You learn. You see all these things, we learn it. Even if you have it, you, 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 you improve on it. You learn it. So you have to conquer doubt and fear. Desire is the perfect mental antidote for fear and despair. Desire sparks activity, which burns up excess adrenaline in the system. You know, all these things we are talking about, it boils down to how healthy we are. Excess adrenaline. Adrenaline is that hormone that stress causes you. I'm telling you. It burns up excess adrenaline in the system, keeps the mind busy and hope of achievement alive. You see, anytime you are getting mentally clogged up, go and read. Go and read. Go and enroll somewhere. They let people teach you, even if it's small, small children, let them teach you. If, if you may call your daughter or your son, come and teach me how to do this. Just learn. You'll see that you'll get well. Inactivity breeds despondency, brings forth dark imaginings and distorts situation out of proportion to reality. When fear begins to beg for attention, the winner gets busy and things regain their proper perspective. Don't get dark side back at that. Anything can happen. Uh, people will talk to you, <laughs> don't do this. <laughs> I remember when I, I started the business, online business, for the first time in my life, 2020. One of my cousins said, <laughs> by the time, you know, this guy left what he was doing, went into the internet and will be bombarding me with all ego, all, everything, every, he, li, li, li. At a point, I told him, you see, excuse me, I'm an adult. If I will fail, let me fail by myself. But don't cajole me out of this thing. Did I succeed there? I succeeded. I did. So don't allow you, anybody, to cajole you. Fear is a never reason for quitting. Fear is a never a reason for quitting. It's only an excuse. It's only an excuse. When winning individuals encounter fear, what do they do? They admit it. You, you can't live in denial. Mm -mm. That's not what we are talking about. You have to admit it. January this year, I was I was overtaken by something I didn't plan. Did I admit it? Yes, I admitted it. But then I said, this thing can't keep me down. Let me took eye. Let me see how I will, I will come out of this. I began to look for escape. Fruit. I began to, by the time you know it, I'm standing on top of that matana. You see, that thing that wanted to bury me, I am standing on it, sitting down with executive chair. As I sit down, Naim, I sit down on top of that matana. Some people will say this, one, I don't understand her. You don't need to, don't allow people to decode you, to understand you. They know what you're supposed to do by every time. And she will react like this. No, it's not a winning mindset. Don't be afraid to be afraid. If you wait for the perfect moment when all is safe and assured, it may never arrive. Mountains will not be climbed. Races won or happiness achieved. Success is not reserved for the talented. It is not in the high IQ, not in the gifted breath, not in the best equipment, not even in ability. Success is almost totally dependent on drive, on drive on drive, on focus, and persistence. The extra energy required to make an extra effort, try another approach, concentrate on the desired outcome, is the secret of winning. I will take it again. The extra energy required to make an extra effort, try another approach, concentrate on the desired outcome, is the secret of winning. Out of desire, the energy and will to win is bettered. Do you want to win in your life? I don't know what they have said about you. I don't know what somebody has said to you that kept you down for a long time. I want you to know this night that those voices are voices of fear and enemy. I want you to say to yourself, I will overcome them. I will overcome them. Now, as we round up, what do are we reviewing? The positive self-motivation of total winner 
they rise from two sources, their self-expectancy, personal and worldview, and the awareness that why fear and desire are among the greatest motivators, fear is destructive. Fear is destructive. Why desire leads to achievement, success, and happiness. Fear is destructive. Anytime, even the pastor Jerry will always tell us, what you are afraid will not happen. Do you know that what you are afraid of most times, it doesn't happen. And when you build that castle on, in, your, in your subconscious, you can't go anywhere. You can't go. You see me fly on that bicycle, doing it. Some people thought I've been riding it for a long time. Mm -mm. I said, this bicycle, you see no human beings riding bicycle. Let me jump on it. I jump on You can never learn how to do anything until you begin, you learn how to do it. With this in mind, they focus their thinking in the rewards of success and actively, and actively tune out fear of failure. Losers say, I can't, because winners say, I want to, I can. Never you say, I cannot, I can't do this. It's a loser's mindset. Even if you are saying it on a positive side, I can't. Mm -mm. There's a way you can say it. We are all self-motivated a little or a or a, 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 a lot. Motivation is an insider job. Inside job. Inside job. You see, inside job. Motivation. In guidance and counseling, we, we have what we call intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Intrinsic comes from you. Extrinsic comes from outside. Always stay up that. Believe in yourself. You see this self-belief. You must practice it. If they tell you you are no good, I have seen somebody that wrote I can examination 10 times. They told the person, there is no hope for you. The person said, you see this I can, I must get it. At the 11th time, he passed. Individuals are motivated by their fears, inhibitions, compulsions, and attractions. People resist changing because it upsets their present security. Are you resisting change because it, it upsets your present security? People will change drastically when it's a matter of life or death. And people will change happily and effectively when they want to. You only change when you want to change. Now, let me tell us what to do. You know, at the end of each class, we do positive, um, take action. So if you are getting value, please, can you indicate by typing 555. We have come to the end of the fourth one. Next week, by God's grace, we'll go to the fifth one. We'll go to the fifth one. You see, all these things are why people are sick, why people are not progressing, why people are stopped, why people are doing like mumu mumu. -mu -mu. Who told you? you? They rejected you visa 10 times. Go to the for the 11th one. They will give you. Next week, we are going to study Positive self-expectancy. But before then, action. Number one action you will do. Dress and look your best. Okay, no. We have done that. Number one. Replace the word can't with can in your daily vocabulary. Never you use that word can't again in your life. Number two, replace the word try with will. I will try. Somebody will tell you, will you come for this um, event? I will try. I will. If it did not work out towards that end, tell the person something came up that made me not to. Stop using that word try. It's a loser's something. Vocabulary. Number three, focus all your attention and energy on the achievement of the goals you are involved with right now right now. There is something you are doing right now. There is something the Lord lays in your heart to do. Focus all your attention. You see, eh, the greatest dis dishonor or the service you do to yourself is to be distracted. You know, by what people say. You say, people will always talk. If you die, even that place where they laid you to rest, they will say, see, see the nose, the way the nose is. See, are you sure this, this corpse is even the person's corpse? You see the face even turn like this. See, the pancake they even put on these cups. It doesn't, they will talk. So live your life. Forget about the consequences of failure. 
Failure is only a temporary change in the direction to set you straight for your next success. Remember, you usually get what you think most. You see, eh? <laughs> I just, when, I, when I look at my house now, hmm, I will just tell myself, Jesus, this is somebody that was living in one room. One room. You know, one room. One room. From one room, I went to two bedrooms. From two bedrooms, I went to three bedrooms. From three bedrooms, I went to a house. When I did, when I would be walking around my house, hey, hey, if you see the joy this thing gives me, G -G 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 -G, I saw today, years back, when I was struggling with cockroach and rats, that was the day I came back, put bread and akara. By the time I said, let me go and remove my dress, I didn't see my bread again. What happened? Rati has taken my bread and hid under the cupboard. So to show you, Rati, be one call my lebo say abata na 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 na. Maybe ne dey bread. You see, so you see, you have to see tomorrow. If you can't see it, you can't feature in the future. You can't picture before you feature in that future. You must picture it. You must picture it. Stop thinking because you are living in a place where, where the gutter is running towards your bedroom. You think your life ended there. No way, no way, no way, no way. Or because you are struggling to raise your children. You can have your children in Germany, in Canada, in anywhere. All these people, their children are living there. They didn't do anything spectacular. They just focus on what they're supposed to do. Excuse me. One of us, she's been on wheelchair for 24 years or 20 something years. She's a childhood friend. The daughter went to study in Netherlands. No father. That girl didn't even know the father. What? She put her heart. I want to school. And it's not full scholarship. Who tell you that miracles still don't happen? People create their miracles. Don't wait for miracles. Receive, receive. You fall down. After falling down, you get up. Create it in your head. The future you want to. Future in. And you see it appear. Number four, make a list of five of your most important current wants or desire. What are those things you want? One of the things I wanted, I wanted to ride, drive a brand new car. It's important to me. Brand new. Tia rubber. Tia rubber. Tia rubber. I've achieved that. I want to live in a comfortable house. I've achieved that. I want to travel when I want to travel on my terms. I went on vacation and I saw the difference between going with company and going on vacation. Company, whether you want to rest or don't want to rest, oh, 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 poor guy this year, poor guy this year, you jump up, you have not even slept well. Excuse me. Number five, seek and talk in person this week to somebody who is currently doing what you want to do most or doing it well. Anybody that you know that is doing what you want to do, talk to that person. Model your life after that person. Number six, for every one of your goals, make it a habit to repeat again and again. I want to, I can, I want to, I can. Develop a simple new affirmative self-talk vocabulary about yourself. Look, you see me, if I go to do exercise, you see how, how, how beautiful I look. Because that's the motivation that makes me to want to do exercise. It's not in the morning. I'll be looking for, for pants. I'll be looking for stockings. I'll, everything in quantum. I'll just match it. Look at myself. I feel good before I go there to do anything. Because there are certain hormones. Your body cannot release them. Except when you begin to feel good about yourself. Excuse me. Feel good. Don't allow anybody to kill you. Some of you will raise children. Raise children until you enter grave. God forbid bad thing. Number seven, paint the picture of what the achievements looks like and feels like. I've said it. What that achievement, how it looks like, how it feels like, paint it. My daughter doesn't want, she doesn't like going to market because when she was small, if I take her to Yaba, those evil boys will say, hey, fine girl, fine girl, they will be drawing her. This thing will be choking this girl. I take her to Balogu, the same thing. She said, mom, is that, so somebody cannot, it can, can, he said, I don't want to, to go to market. You know what I told her? She was small, though. Still in secondary school, I said, her, work hard. Eh? So that in your in the in the comfort of your home, 
you can order what you want and they deliver it to you. And that's what she's doing. This one I went. Now fight, fight we fought for me to go because I like to do uh, window shopping, look around. She will be saying, I don't know. One day we entered one shop. She said, mommy, they will still pro they will profile us because we are blacks. We are just walking up and I said, because of that thing, I will buy something that will shock these people. And I did. But, but tomorrow I returned some. <laughs> tomorrow I return some that, that were oversight. I said, what do you mean? I said, no, don't have that mindset because you are black. They are providing all these people that came here. Do they come with more than $50 or more than 50 euro? And you are talking to me. No. Number eight, don't take counsel from your fears and don't worry about them. You see, anybody that has not done what you want to do, don't take counsel from that person. You see, the, the worst thing you can do for yourself is to go to somebody that cannot solve your problem to tell that person about that problem. You don't do that. Number nine, give solution-oriented feedback when people tell you their problems. There's a woman that started doing a wholesome pap on Facebook. Many of us in Omega Pro, we know her. I think I was the second person that she brought that pap. She brought it here in my house. I sat her down and I began to tell her because I'm, I have done, I've gone to biz, uh, business schools, branding. This, this, I told her this is what you are supposed to do. If you concentrate on the on the on the wet pap, you will not go far because that wet pap you cannot take it for, to a far distance, even if you block it. You see what you do, you can get a dehydrator. I tell you, I think yesterday or so, from a 16 pan, 14 pan dehydrator, she went to do 24. She even got her own grinding something. The pap she gave to me, I gave her honest feedback. I told her it was bitter. Why? She put a whole lot of ginger. She wanted to make it spicy. I told her, can you tell me the quantities of things? She said she bring, she will bring this. She'll bring, I say, no, go and get kitchen, go and get kitchen, kitchen, uh, kitchen um, um, measurements, kitchen scale. You measure it so that you have consistency. Don't you see that below over tea, they have the same consistency. All these things I told her, I gave it to her free, but the time is coming. When somebody else will come to me to tell her that thing, I will charge her 1 million naira. Or I will charge her 500,000. That's what we call consulting. I give it to her free. So or package yourself. You have something that will bring you money. You are looking for money in the gutter. And you have something upstairs. Number 10, concentrate all your energy and intensify without distraction on the successful completion of your current project. Finish what you start. Many of us don't finish what we start. And it's an error. Anything you start, make sure you bring it to a conclusion. Things usually work out my way because I create my daily horoscope out of my great expectation. We have come to the end. So if you got value from, although I'm fast, I was fast, 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 but then I know you got one or two things. If you got value, please can you decay by typing 777 on the chat. Sincerely, thank you for your time, your engagement. God bless you. God honor you. It is a pleasure being here. And it is my desire. You see me, I've not even started. I am yet to start. You see the likes of him, I'm in book, and so many people. I will tap into their graces. You see that? Six figures. She talked about, I will, I will find out how she's making it. Never mind that what I'm doing now. People will tell me, do you know you can monetize this? And people will pay you real money. I know. But the time has not come. Another thing is the season. Like the children of Isaka, you must know the times and seasons. If you go be before the time that God said this is the time, you will not do well. But if you understand the time and you walk like the children of Isaka, they knew the times and the seasons of their lives, you will excel. There is money. You see, in Nigeria, money plenty in Nigeria. Money plenty. People are going through stress. You can cancel one person, 15 minutes, 20, uh, one hour. You charge that person any amount of money. They will pay you. But then it's a ministry I'm doing. When I want to do business, I will differentiate it from the ministry. So I sincerely thank you. Thank you for your time. I'm grateful that you appeared here. If you want to watch our previous episode you can go to my youtube channel dr favor former molisa 
And you can engage me on my Facebook page, Afoma Moisa. Like I always tell us, please read Emma Mbong. I'm telling you, it's not, I'm not doing it because she said, even before she started coming here, I've been saying it to us because I brought her, anybody you see me brought to this program, that person has something to offer. God bless you. God honor you. If you have any contributions to make, you can go ahead and make it. If not, I see you next week. God bless you. Dr. Foman is signing out from Lagos State, Nigeria. Oh, uh, thank you, Mrs. Oforma. She celebrated her birthday and she blessed the widows in our organization. Thank you. Uh -huh. Concerning that helping hand issue, I've gone to uh, check those things and I am, there are things they say I should bring so that the account will be active. I will give us, I will give us updates. Thank you. God bless you so very much. That the way they is here. Thank you, Daddy, for always coming. Apostle Ben is here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dr. Chinwe. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Yeah. Uh, oh, all these my leaders, they just came. Mm. Love you now. God bless you. See you next week. Thank you, Maureen or Sophie. I don't know when, when you're coming. God bless you so much. Wow. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank it's you. A you rice. <laughs> we sell rice. So if you want rice for Christmas, local rice full of fiber, you can contact me. I have somebody that will give it to you. Beautiful rice. Because that's the way it is. You help to promote another person's business. Don't be bad or pull them down. It doesn't work. How much, how much is one bag? Oh, for sure. So anything you okay. see, any... So how sure. much is one bag? Sir? Realize how much is one bag? Uh, you can you can chat me. Uh, you can, okay, how much? Uh, okay. I can just tell, chat me interested in local rice. Hey, hey you see now. If I <laughs> see that selling rice, business don't come home. Just chat me. <laughs> Because it, she will deliver to your doorstep. Don't pro, no problem. Local rice. Mm. So that you don't you stop eating nonsense. So thank you so very much. God bless you. And I look thank you. Continue to motivate us. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Just chat me, all the people that want rice. If you want rice, because it's still on record, good stone free rice. Please contact me. I have somebody that she can deliver 10,000 bags to you. God bless you. That's you in place here. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Long time. Doctor, I can help. Doctor, please, I greet you, sir. My, my dear, bless you, bless you, bless you. Nice to hear your <laughs> voice. It is God right. has been faithful. Even yeah, to our big it. daughter, is, is breaking, is doing so many things, becoming a phenomenon. I tell you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well. Yes. Amen. Thank you, okay. sir. Okay. Are you for... mm. Good night, everybody. My Good dear night. husband. Good night. Oh, hey, well, my <laughs> wife, today is her birthday, Mrs. Afoma. Hey. Mm, happy birthday. Hey, my hey. sister, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. 15th. Thank you so much. Oh. God bless you. Good night, oh. please. And good night, everyone. Oh. Good night, everybody. Uh, good night. Good night. Mm.